Well, speaking of mistakes or learning life lessons or however you want to spin the the vernacular to to be a resilience mindset, um, can you talk a little bit about some of the challenges that you've seen across the sort of different kinds of businesses in terms of, you know, branding and those customer relationships strengthening? It'd be really interesting if you had any examples uh, to share in terms of either moments where you said there were those lessons uh, and or, you know, breakthroughs within, you know, whether you or your teams brought them within the organizations that you felt were really successful? Sure. Yeah. I think when, when you're, you're talking about brand building, you're talking about uh, the, the messaging that you're trying to deliver to customers. I, I think the, the, the common theme is that uh, you, in every circumstance, you have to build it foundationally. Right. And, and if you don't have a methodology or, or some framework that you use, um, you can end up in a position where you, you, I feel like it's throwing you know, paint at the wall. Right. And, and just you know, trying to see what to throw spaghetti at the wall, you know, it, it, trying to see what is going to stick. Um, there are a lot of different frameworks that you can use. I don't think any of them are right or wrong. I have my own favorite framework. But the common theme is that there, there needs to be a framework, right? And, and there's a, a foundation you need to build for yourself as you're doing this. Then the, the second piece of the puzzle is who is that audience? And are you really attenuating what your brand, what your product, what your service is to that particular audience, as we spoke about before? And and really identifying and understanding and giving that customer information around you know, what it is about your product, brand, or service that is going to make their lives better or easier or faster or cheaper or whatever it is they're trying to, to, to whatever their end goal is really what your brand has to convey that you're helping them do. So that you know, that's the the thematically, whether you're a device or you're a drug or an insurance company or whether you're a VC and, and you're 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 trying to offer your assistance to a new startup, um, you 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 have to really articulate what's in it for that other person you're going to be working with, right? And and coming at it from a, a service mindset rather than a, a selling the product mindset is something that's really valuable when yeah go, go ahead oh no no i was just about to say that 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 one point it's so basic it's actually you know probably in anyone who's taken a marketing course or <laughs> communications course branding right that's the 101 the what's in it for me has to be about the customer and people say they're doing that but obviously we've all seen i'm sure many of the listeners as well as people our colleagues and ourselves have seen that actually doing that in action and taking ego off the table. And ego could be from president level, leadership level, um, from even advertising agency partner level where they're trying to just be like, we're the best, we're the best. I mean, that is just, that's more the norm. And then you see sort of these folks that here and there break through, you know, with their campaigns, with their messaging and positioning, let's say with the wards, if you will, where we see the consistently one of the variables that seems to be the same, regardless of whether it's an execution that has cartoons or is 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 um, poignant in a in an emotional way, you know, um, uplifting, whatever it is. The ones that seem to break through are the ones where they have actually connected with something authentic with their customer in some way, well, and less about what the thing does, if you will. Yeah, and and well, so that's fascinating on a few fronts, and and let me let, let me deconstruct that a little bit. So, Natanya, you know that you know we, uh, one of the initiatives that I have going on with a, a couple of co-founders is uh, this site called MedTech and Mindset, and um, every day I put out a MedTech and Mindset moment, and some of the comments have been exactly like what you just said, where it's like. Hey, these are really great foundational, fundamental, little 30 second reminders about things that people often forget about, right? And, and what happens is, is they think they're more advanced than they are sometimes. They, they get 
confused by a lot of distractions that are out there and they forget to do the basics, the blocking and tackling. And, you know, I joke with people all, all the time that like, I'm probably not the most advanced marketer out there. Like I don't, I, I'm not the most advanced commercialization person out there. There are people who, you know, in different areas have technical competencies and competencies and skill sets are way above mine. But the thing that I've been really good at that has brought a lot of value to businesses uh, across a variety of different categories is, is making sure that that blocking and tackling gets done and is done as effectively as you, as you can get it. Because what will happen is, is that to the second point, uh, a lot of people, when they don't do that, they'll advance past it. They'll create things that are very shiny, right? That they've got these shiny, sexy, whether it's campaigns or whether it's collateral materials or, or sometimes even their product, it, 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 it has an appearance that will attract an initial set of customers. But when they use it, 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 it doesn't work out how they, how they thought, right? And, and they're not articulating that clear value proposition. And I agree with you when you look at the things that are really working and you back it out, what you find is you find a very simple, clear message from that company, from that campaign, from that product that is telling you very easily, specifically, and clearly the value, it, the value that that customer is going to get. And a lot of people just forget it, right? And and they 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 don't spend enough. Yeah, time. from the 